up? My name is Jade Fox. This is the Made You Looks channel, and today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, my summer wish list. I've seen these videos. I like watching these videos. Um, I've never done something like this before, and other than the outfits that I uh, show and the hauls and recent pickups, y'all don't really know the specific things that I'm looking for. Um, and really, this isn't even, I do a lot of like how to and I feel helpful videos. This isn't helpful at all. This is just me reaching the big O over fucking boots. So, so the first item, this is no surprise. So I'm not going to take too much time talking about it. Uh, the Rico and Ramones. I just want them. I just want them. And I know that they're very trendy and that is actually found my size on Grailed, um, for a somewhat reasonable price but i didn't get them because at the time i was like oh these are really trendy and i feel like i'm hopping on a bandwagon if i get them but since then i've had kind of a change of heart and basically the way i see it now is it can be a trendy item and i would purchase it but only if i can style it in ways more ways than what is trendy i do want to have some type of individuality some type of uniqueness you know, and if I'm wearing these shoes, most likely there's going to be other people in the room wearing these shoes. But as long as I can style them in ways that other people won't style them, or just other ways that are outside of the ways that you normally see them styled, then I'm okay with paying that money and buying that trendy piece. So this is on my list. It's gonna be on my list until I get until I can get them. But until then, she's just gonna be on the list. Okay, so the next thing on my list is an Acne Studios tote bag. Um, there is a blue one and a black one that I really, really want. I want both of them. And I think this is me kind of graduating from the canvas tote bags to an actual like leather tote bag. And I'm not much of a purse girl, but I do really like carrying bags. I wear bags pretty much every time I go out of my house. And so I think that a happy medium between, you know, having a bag for functional use, but not having a bag that's too feminine is like the leather tote bag. I feel like it's unisex. Um, 1000% and obviously a tote bag is pretty big. Normally they're pretty big. So you can carry it for a, your laptop. It could be an everyday bag, whatever. And with the blue one, it is this really, really beautiful, like really rich velvety looking like royal blue. It's not even royal blue. It's more of like an electric kind of blue um, with just a really simple uh, Acne Studios logo made in Stockholm or Acne Studios, Stockholm, whatever. I just like it and I want the black and the blue, the black for everyday use and the blue for, you know, when I'm out and I wanna like add a little a little spice, a little Italian herbs and cheeses, you know, to the, to the, to the fit, so. They actually have another tote that's like a nylon, it's polyester, I think it's polyester, uh, that is a more affordable price point. I think it's like 150, 180, something like that. Uh, so I might get that, but I also feel like I won't because I know what I really want, which is like that $300 one. So until that goes on sale, I'm probably not going to buy it. And I also want to say that most of these items on this list are going to be like from luxury brands or just higher price points because if they were affordable, I would have them. <laughs> if they were affordable, I would, I would have a tracking, I would have a tracking number by now but because these are a bit more expensive, they're gonna, they're gonna sit, they're gonna marinate, they're gonna chill out on the wish list until they go on sale. This third one can can be a more affordable piece uh, if thrifted or maybe like if I go on Depop or something, I might be able to find one. I really want a leather vest. I want like a, but I want like a leather biker style vest. I wore this outfit when I was in Palm Springs and I wore these like leather pants which is like a really simple tee and then uh, just like black leather shoes and I was thinking about the a version of that outfit where I would have on the same t-shirt with that like biker style leather vest regular american looking jeans and then a black boot like something like this you know there is this aesthetic that's going around on instagram i think they're just calling it like american like simple american boy aesthetic where what you're wearing is like very very basic you know and that's the whole point it's almost like minimalism but like corny because it's instagrammy you know um whereas minimalism i think is like an actual lifestyle that people live it kind of reminds me of that but with with 
a bit more polish, you know? And so that's kind of the, the vibe that I see in my head. And then also, um, it's a basic item. Like, yes, it's specific, but it's basic enough that I can probably style it in a few different ways. And I think it's also a smart way to wear leather in the summertime. So the next one are these boots. <laughs> these 1017 uh, Alix boots. Not classic at all. Not at all something I think I would normally go for just because they look very techy. But I want them. <laughs> like I want them. I see it in my head so vividly, especially with like black denim or just like a black pair of trousers with these pants. I feel like the juxtaposition of like the kind of like edginess, more abstract style of boot with paired with a really simple straight black pant with like a white shirt or even just like all black. And the fall bitch, that with like a bomber, like a bomber or like some type of kind of square shaped coat. They're actually on sale right now. And the thing is, is that I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest. I will probably see these boots unless I buy them secondhand, which I have not seen. And most of these things I can't buy secondhand because men rule the fucking world. It's a man's world. And so I can't find anything in my size ever. And so that's why I'm pretty sure I'm, this is the cheapest. I'm going to be able to get these shoes in my size. And so I've been thinking about just pulling the trigger, but I'm like, ooh, 400, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't really need to be spending that much money on a pair of boots that I probably won't even be able to wear until realistically like October, September. Next are the Prada loafers. Um, I don't know if there's a specific style name. I saw them in a photo one time and I've been, I've been drooling and obsessed ever since. I don't think that they are the most classic just because they are a little bit chunky. However, I don't see myself ever changing my aesthetic when it comes to shoes. I like chunkier shoes. I always liked chunky shoes like ever since I was like 12 I've liked a slightly chunkier shoe and um, my feet are very skinny and narrow and so that's why I feel like I probably won't ever change it up so that's why it's like even though this isn't a classic item and it costs a fuck ton I feel like I would still invest the money into them because I feel like I would get a lot of use out of them I feel like with uh things like loafers a classic boot style, like something similar to this. It's like, is this a combat boot? No, is it a biker boot? No. However, it's a kind of a nameless, faceless boot. It's a square toe black boot with a zip on the side. Like there's not much to it. And those Prada loafers give me the same energy, which makes me believe that I, this is something that I will wear from for years to come. And because loafers are loafers, I feel like they look really good worn in as well, even with the creases. Um, I don't know what Prada's reputation is when it comes to their leather shoes over time, but I'm assuming that it's probably pretty good uh, going off of the price point and going off of just the brand um, recognition. But I could be completely wrong, like just because something is a luxury brand or something is at a higher price point does not, it's not one-to-one -one with quality. Next is the Hair Impressing Calvin Klein uh, Cream Trucker Jacket. I have this in black. Um, I showed it in my recent pickups video and then they came out with the cream and I also want the cream now. I feel like the cream would look really good with um, like a medium wash pant with like a white tee and leather black shoes or just like an all cream kind of situation. Or I saw Lil Uzi Vert was like in the ads for it and so he was wearing like these kind of oversized medium wash pants with these like white like slipper looking shoes and then that jacket and I don't think he had on a shirt underneath and I thought it looked really cool on him. And so I really want this. I really like this kind of oatmeal cream, uh, like ivory color palette a lot. And I think with it being in a jacket, it's just gonna brighten up an outfit so much without being loud or too brightness. Cause I think that all white can sometimes be a little too bright. And so when you go for like those like kind of warmer creamy tones I feel like that it looks like milky and it's a little softer on the eye and so that's what I that's why I want it but and I know like I already have the black ones so just buy that one but I don't want to spend 250 or 225 whatever again I want to see if maybe it'll make it to the sales because the thing is I, I'm holding out hope because I feel like 
the items that are up have been up for a while and there's still mad sizes available. Bitch, where? So either people aren't hip or maybe they just produced a, an adequate amount, but I'm really gonna hold out and see if I can get this with a discount. The New Balance 550s, um, we've been seeing these all over on Instagram, the Ame Leondor collab. The resellers took those and said, supersize it. So the prices are going crazy on these and I, there's not even really a particular colorway that I want. I like them all. The reason why I have not, cause I have seen them in my size at somewhat an affordable price range or at least a, a price range that makes sense, you know, and that isn't, wild and completely out of the ballpark but the thing that holds me back is thinking about how i'm going to style them if the only way i can style them is in a tote bag fit i don't know but i can't style them unless i have them i can think about all these outfits all i want but until i actually put them on i'm not gonna know what works and what doesn't and so that's what's holding me back on top of the resale prices on top of the fact that i don't know what colorway i want i really like the gray and the white ones but i feel like i already have so many shoes that are in that realm of color palette that it would be almost a waste to spend over retail for it. I also just don't want to spend my money. So I don't know. Another pair of shoes on my wish list are the Reebok DMX Trail Shadow shoes. It's definitely giving Balenciaga vibes dialed down, scaled down. What I really want, there's this girl that I follow on Instagram and she posted this fit. And I have not stopped thinking about this fit. I'll put it over here. And I've seen other fits like it, where you have on something that's really muted, like whether it be a full suit, a matching set, and then you have on a, a loud ass, fugly pair of shoes, like to just juxtapose it. I love that and I wanna do that. But all my shoes are mostly white. So I really want just a loud pair of shoes. They can be chunky, they can be kind of ugly, uh, very daddish, like I'm into it. They can even be boots, but I haven't really come across any until I saw these. Uh, the first pair I ever saw was white and black, or like a cream and black, and I really like those too. They look very tech and like utilitarian and like kind of hiking style, which I really like, at least in sneakers. I like that in sneakers, not so much anywhere else in my closet. I feel like this is a good summer shoe. I feel like it would look really good with like a baggy pair of pants. I feel like it would look good with shorts with like a tall sock um, or even with a suit. I would wear these and I would buy these. So I might actually buy these if I can come across my size. So these last two, uh, the first one is patchwork denim. I really want a pair of patchwork denim. I just haven't found a pair that I really like that I feel isn't from jaded London, number one. Uh, but number two, I just want them to look like quality. <laughs> like I know patchwork, I feel like started to pop off what fall, fall 2021. And I'm still into it. I've been into it since fall 2021. I actually used to have a pair of patchwork denim and I, I sold them, but I am just looking for the perfect pair. I am fully okay with trends. I just want, if I'm gonna be investing in a trend though, I just want it to be exactly what I want, you know? And I feel that I haven't come across a pair that it's just like, ooh, yes, those are the ones. Or if I have come across that pair, they are wildly expensive, like OD expensive. This with like a graphic tee and just like a simple white shoe or even just like a, like a chunkier like black boot, I think would be sick. And the last item slash items on my wish list is actually just an entire brand, which is Anne de Milamister, those boots I showed you before. Those are Anne de Milamister. I really, really love this brand because I feel like when I'm trying to dress up or do a dressier fit, I feel like this brand is that style. Like it's fairly simple. It leans into the masculine side. Um, it's funny, like the women's clothes lean into the masculine side and then the men's clothes lean into the feminine, which I really appreciate and respect from a brand uh, to be able to do that and then also just do it really well. I also feel like, you know, kind of like Celine, they, they, they really do the skinny or like the slim cut aesthetic very well. I feel that with fast fashion sometimes, the skinny or slim cut pieces can kind of read as like wannabe rocker or like wannabe Celine. I'm okay with slim and skinnier fits and cuts. I just don't want to look corny wearing them. I don't wanna, 
I don't know. I just don't want to look corny. I don't know. I can't really fully elaborate on that because I don't really know what the language is. But I feel like this brand just does it so well and they do it in such a unique way and in a way that is specific to them. And those are all the items that are on my wish list. Uh, at least that means at least the ones that I can remember that have a that have a trail, you know, in my actual wish lists on Essence and Farfetch and stuff. Um, I'm really trying to secure this Farfetch sponsor so help me manifest that help me manifest this farfetch sponsorship okay uh if you got any plugs on anything that i have put in this video let me know because i would also like a slice you know what there was this other item that was going to be on this list it was a pair of product glasses and guess what guess what guys your girl caught a dub because they were on i think they're still on farfetch for like four hundred dollars and like four i think they're like 410 but nordstrom had them um, and Nordstrom was having this like sale. So I was able to get them for 250. I think I'm becoming a Prada girl. I feel like the, you know, I'm turning 30 in August and I can feel myself wanting just better quality things, longer lasting things. I'm, I want like genuine leather, sorry vegans. Um, I just want nice stuff. Like I hate, having bullshit items in my closet. Like clo like items that I don't wear that are shit quality. And the reason why I don't wear them is because of the shit quality or they just don't fit me right. They don't feel good like on my skin. Like I want my clothes to feel good on my skin. I wanna feel good in my clothes. I don't wanna feel like I have, to, I'm constantly adjusting like my shirt all day or my pants all day because they're not 100% what I want. And I've just, come to terms with, I think what I want is stuff that's just more expensive, which sounds dumb because not everything I want has to be expensive, which is why I said I'm totally fine with doing secondhand. I'm totally fine with thrifting things um, and finding lookalikes. But at the end of the day, I just want to know that the money that I'm spending on these things is going into the quality. It's going into the longevity. It's going into the fit. Like it's going into all of these very big buckets that I look for when I'm shopping and when I have an outfit on. Um, I wanna have the confidence in knowing that what I'm purchasing is not a flop. But anyway, that's it for me. I hope that y'all like this video. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to do more of these. Smash the like, ew, smash. You can just push it, it's fine. I don't know why I said that. I've been watching too many male YouTubers. Like this video if you like the video and to let me know to make more of these and I'll see y'all very soon in another video. Bye.